Sufi terminology of six subtleties or center of consciousness or lataya. There are many routes to reach to a destination. Those who live in United States or certain part they know they can take I-95 or turnpike. And when you take a particular route it has its own ambience, attractions and the places of names which can be called as a specific names. People who are living in Trinidad, they know if from the east they have to go to Port of Spain, the capital city, they can use alternative routes. Each route has its own points of attractions, tombs are different. If the objective is to reach to the destination, then there is no conflict. Which vehicle or which road do you follow? But if we are concerned not with the destination but with the vehicle or the route, then there comes a lot of problems. Sufism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Zen, these are all the routes or vehicles that we take you to your innerness. And the conflict comes when we consider these as the soul paths or soul vehicles to take us to its own destination. The very purpose of the roads or routes is to take the commuters to a particular from one location to another and the names of the side streets along the way the names of the side streets all are determined on the basis of local culture. For instance, when I went to Osaka for the first time in Japan, the names of the place, places were strange to us. For instance, one of the place was named as Himamatsu. In New York, the names of the places are different along the road. So is in Middle East, in India, in Trinidad, everywhere the names differ. But when you look at the roads, it is made in the same way. Vehicles drive in the same way. So too, when you are on a particular path, the names change. But when you look at the quality, what is the name of a particular resting place along the highway in United States may differ from that of the others. But the facilities that are provided at that place are basically the same. So too is the case of the terminologies along different tariqats, different paths. I am taking the Sufi tariqat and Sufi's tariqat is a particular route of attaining to innerness. Its terminology is based in Urdu and Arabic. These six subtleties are known as center of consciousness or lataya. It is generally thought. How it is thought? Is it a thought or through kash? Kash means through intuitive powers. When an individual sits down in meditation, he comes to know various stages and various meridians as we know in the Chinese terminology, where one meridian intersects the other, the crossroads and their significance. In Sufi terminology, these are known as Latayafs and in Hinduism or part of Yoga or Tantra, these are known as Chakras. The human body contains only one subtle center and 
that is of consciousness, the mind or brain. However, the elder Sufis, through their spiritual experience or kash, discovered additional centers of perception or inner senses which they refer to as Lataya. They further concluded, based on their kash, intuitive insights, that there are ten such Latayevs. It happens, the number of these Latayevs or psycho-spiritual centers differs from person to person. In some cases, you can understand this through an example when a student is very intelligent. Along his study in the schools and colleges, he may skip a few classes because he is more intelligent for a particular class than the other students. In that case, he skips one. Does it mean if he skips the third standard, that third standard does not exist? It exists there for those people who have to go through that and complete it. Whereas this student who has been extraordinarily intelligent, this particular standard tree is bypassed. So if he has to say that there are only four standards, but that is not right. In him, the third standard activated already. When a seeker, and this also depends upon the inner preparation. And because of the inner preparation, when an individual begins the inner journey, he have already crossed those stations or he skips, but that cannot be made as a standard rule. The origin of these Latayevs reflect the origin of the universe as a whole. As the universe for existence of creation came into existence, the Lataif too came into existence. According to Sheikh Ahmad Faruqi, Mujad Alif Sani Razi who was the second Nakshbandi master in the lineage of the Sufi order, Nakshbandi order, from whom the second millennium begins and it is mentioned in one of the hadith of Holy Prophet that after 1000 years a person will be born and that will be the beginning of the second millennium. Sheikh Ahmad Faruqi Mujadid Alif Sani His shrine is in Rosa Sharif Sarhin in Punjab and from him the, a particular name Mujaddadi was added to the Sufi lineage. He says God created the universe in two stages. The first came Alim Amr, the world of God's command, which emerged instantaneously when God said be. Then God created Alame Khalq, the world of creation, through a process of evolution that lasted many years. After Alame Khalq, God created human beings. God blessed this new creation with certain inner faculties or points of light known as Latayev. The five of the Latayevs are Nafs, which is self, air, fire, water, earth, the part of the world of creation. There were five others, Kal, heart center, Ru, spirit, Sir, the mysterious secret, Khafi, the hidden, and Akfa, the most hidden, the part of the world of God's command. 
the latayefs were luminous initially when god connected them to the body their light started to be filtered through the influences of the physical world it is like this when consciousness manifests through less evolved intellect its reflection is less or faded as compared to when it reflects through crystal clear surface of mirror like intellect their light is started to be filtered through the influences of the physical world your intellect gets beclouded because of sense perception your desires lust and many other things like these and this physical world included human beings tendency to identity with materiality the dimming of our natural inner radiance is reflected in the quranic passages surely we created human beings of the best stretch then we reduced him to the lowest of the low except those who believe and do good works for they shall have a reward unfailing quran e pak quran e majid verse 9546 through practices that involved concentrating on the latif the sufi aspirant becomes able to use them as a means of greater awareness of the divine presence within the more the seeker develops this capability less the light of knowledge remains hidden like the faculty of the memory the latifs are faculties that we may sense and experience yet have difficulty in explaining how do you define memory you understand its experience you know what happens but you cannot say in any way what memory is you might say it dwells in brain you might even describe its physiological functioning but these descriptions fail to convey all its dimensions sometimes a person loses his or her memory due to injury he or she becomes even more aware of its importance yet is no better able to explain it similarly the latif cannot be adequately defined in words but as an individual brings them to light he or she comes to understand them better their function becomes more and more clear different sufi orders have associated latif with various locations on the body but this does not mean if you dissect the body you will find these latifs it is better to say that the human body has various types the physical body the electric body the psychological body seven bodies and these latifs or psycho spiritual centers dwell in the third body at another time i will speak on the seven bodies when it comes to explanation of the seven valleys of al-ghazali naqshbandi mujaddidi order places the five centers of the world of god's command the latifs of alam e amr in the chest area the heart of the kal is on the left side of the body 2 inches below the nipples the spirit or ruh is in the corresponding position on the right hand side of the chest 
the subtle centers known as air or sir is on the same side as the heart but ever the breast hidden lataif khafi is on the right ever the breast so one on the left side and other on the right side kalb on the left side of the body ru is in the corresponding position on the right side of the chest but these are 2 inches below the nipples the subtle centers of sir is this above the breast on the side of the heart which is the left side khafi is on the right side where kalb is above the breast the most hidden or akfa is in the middle of the chest between heart and the spirit this is how the nakshbandi mujaddadi order explains the presence of these five lataifs or alami amra when nakshbandi sheikh hazrat bijmohan lal razi allah taala unu was overflowing the life and works of the sheikh of the order hazrat ram chandra razi allah taala unu and hazrat ragwa dayal razi allah taala unu he explained these send lataifs much more in details and it is based on that understanding i am bringing out these lataifs and their positions for a better understanding to you sheikhs of the nakshbandi mujaddidi order guide the salik which is the aspirant or the spiritual traveler in enlightening the lataifs one by one this is accomplished primarily through maraqba or meditation when the energy field of the master or tawajjuh or the light falls on the centers they get illumined while sitting the murid makes an intention or near to pay attention to a particular lataif here she focuses first on the heart or kalb center then in sequence the other lataifs of the world of god's command the spirit roop secret hidden and the most hidden in the same order roop sir khafi and akfa when these are fully developed or enlightened the student pays attention to the lataif associated with the world of creation alamein khal of the subtle centers connected with the world of creation only the self or nafs is regarded as corresponding to a particular point on the human body the location is in the middle of the forehead 